Hello students, in this video I'm going to explain how to use this simulation for microscopes by bio network that your teacher might have provided for you. So it's a really great simulation in that it allows you to um, make some um, you know modifications but not being too too difficult. So I'm going to click on explore. So what we've got here is we've got a box of microscope slides. We've got our microscope, some immersion oil, some lens cleaner, and a regular tissue. So we've got variety of slides. You might want to look at some plant slides to start off with, maybe some plant cells. It's just loading the data. So what you need to do is you need to always start with the course focus and make sure that you're on four times. As you're um, increasing the magnification, what you can see is that the slide, the microscope slide over here, uh, yeah, the stage, sorry, I should say, is changing in height. So if you go all the way to the top, it will actually on four times not crack the screen. This becomes important as we go in higher magnification. So we're changing it until we get to a really clear image. And then we're going to increase the magnification at 10 times. If we need to adjust the fine focus, you're welcome to do that. That might look pretty good there. Then go to 40 times. And then you can see in the plant cell a nucleus. You can see the cell wall. And those green things, I wonder if you know what they are. They start with C. They're very specific to plant cells. So we're going to change the fine focus a little bit, see if we can get any more um, nice images. That's a bit more blurry. That's a bit more um, focused. And we'll see if we can adjust the lighting as well. And then we're going to go to 100 times. And when we go to 100 times, it tells us that it needs oil, which is realistic in that that's what happens in real life. And we can adjust the fine focus a little bit more. See if that makes it any better. Not really. 100 times is a little bit tricky. That may, maybe is a little bit better. And then the cool thing is you can actually drag the slide, which is pretty amazing. So not heaps, but you can still look around and see what you can find, which is pretty, pretty cool. I really like this simulation. Okay, and then we're going to remove the slide. It's going to get you to clean the um slide with sorry the lens with the lens paper and then we're going to have a look at another slide so we're going to have a look at a human cell and maybe we'll look at some adipose tissue adipose is fat tissue i haven't looked at this slide yet but i think it'll be kind of interesting so we're on four times again which is good and we're going to do the course focus and there we go it's coming up so already, hopefully, you can see some differences to the plant cells, which is probably what your teacher is going to ask you to do. That's a common thing that we ask students to do. So we adjust the light over here. That's all right. And then see if we can get any finer focus. Yeah, that's not bad. And then we're going to increase the magnification. There we go. That's a really clear animal cell. Okay, here we go that and let's see if we can get even closer but I'm wondering if it'll be too close for this particular cell we'll see all right so that is quite close I think you lose a bit of the um, information you know it's in the middle of the cell that's not very useful so we'll just wipe off the immersion oil and go back to 40 times which is probably the most appropriate uh, magnification for this slide now if we go around let's see if we can maybe find a nucleus maybe not mm, not really it's not very obvious okay so all of these things are called cell membranes they help to separate the cell and they actually keep the cell bits in and they they keep the outside bits out so that's what a cell membrane does so we're going to remove the slide again and wipe it off. Oh, we didn't need to wipe it off because we were on 40 times. So there's a ton of um, different uh, slides to actually look through. I really like the simulation. I hope it helps you in your learning.